Excuse me. Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? Well, I lost my guide and I, I don't know where he is. Can well, you help me with that? I was just about to tell these kids a story. I'm kind oh, of in the middle. I love of stories. <laughs> well, um, who are you? Oh, so sorry. Trek Rock Wrangler, world famous explorer, <laughs> mountain climber extraordinaire, guy who likes to climb stuff. I'm Pastor Macy, and this is the East Salem Church. Hello, East Salem Church. How are you? Uh, is there something we can help you with today? Well, I lost my guide. He was supposed to take me to Nepal. I'm supposed to be uh, climbing Mount Everest, and so I grabbed everything that I could find. But then I discovered, maybe, that I was supposed to swim there. So I put my fin on, and I started swimming and swimming. But you know, you can't really get somewhere swimming in a circle, except you can. Because if you go in a bigger and a bigger circle, eventually you get there. And so I'm here, but I can't find my guide. But you know, I did bring the one thing that is the most important thing besides a guide that you need to bring. Do you know what it is? No. Oh, it's in the little front there of my, my sledge there. If you could, nope, the front. Yep, right back there. Yep, grab it for me. Is it a helmet? No, 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 not a helmet. More important than that. A mountain? No, helmet? no, it's kind of silver. It has a little label on it. Oh, big mm -hmm. brain. <laughs> well, I'm glad you brought your big prank. Oh, me too. I was just talking to the kids about how God's mighty power can help us overcome challenges. Do you think, how, how could he help me with this? I don't know where I am, and I, I don't know where my guide is. Well, sometimes God puts people in our lives to help us overcome challenges. And I think maybe I can help you. Okay. So right. let's take a look at your map. You just hold that side. All right. Let's see, kids. We are right here in Oregon, in the North America. Okay. And so Nepal. That is so far off from where I thought I was. <laughs> <laughs> where did you think you were swimming? Well, I'm swimming over here to the little purple. How do they make the whole country purple? That's interesting. But anyway, um, I was I over it's this more Nepal. Like a mauve color. Oh, mauve. No, I yeah. love mauve. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, Nepal's over here. So that's that's where Mount Everest. So I did need my flipper. You know, yeah. when I find the other one, it's going to make it much easier for me to get there. Yes. Or you might need an airplane. Oh, but, that would be probably even more wonderful. But yeah, but we're here in Salem. Okay. Okay. Now I know where I am. I, I hope that helps. When are, when are you climbing Everest? Well, I'm climbing Everest on Monday at 6.30. Wow, that's really soon. It is? Yeah. What time is it? What day is it? It's, it's Sabbath, and it's a little past 10.30. Oh, okay. How long do I have to get there? Two days. Two days? Yeah, you better get swimming, Chuck. Well, I have to get out of here. Uh, just a minute. Oh. There we go. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, just a minute. Yeah, there you go. Here's my friend Clyde. Oh, well, thank you. And I'll, I'll see you on Monday at okay. uh, 6. Well, we'll 30. see you at Everest. Bye bye. Bye, Trent. Well, <laughs> it looks like our time is up for today. But you know what? You can, if you want to learn more about how God's mighty power helps us overcome obstacles, you can come to Vacation Bible School starting on Monday night. It's going to be right here, and I would love to see you guys. And I would love it even more if you would bring a friend with you. Your parents have an insert in their bulletin, and there's information on the back desk about Vacation Bible School. And maybe we'll even meet Trek Rock. Did you guys like that? Mm -hmm. So sometimes God puts people in our lives, like fathers and uncles and mentors, and they help us out with things. And tomorrow is 